components, calligraphy, geometry, arabesque, and figures. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing a geometric design, okay? Do a bit of geometric till lunch, then we'll have a break, finish off our geometric designs, and then we'll do a, a tracing and a painting this, this afternoon. Right, great. Oh, yeah. So that's it. Okay, the rules of the atelier are, otherwise you get thrown out, keep your working space tidy. You're going to get a big pile of notes to work from. Keep it tidy. It's, this is, well, this is not Francis Bacon's studio, <laughs> okay? That's not how we work. It's about order. Yeah, just choose one of these designs. They're all easy, these ones that I've given you. When you. So choose one of these guys, and I want you to do this, and then outline it in ink and then paint. I'm coming round, so the first thing is just to choose it. So go slowly and be precise. Right. Look at the whole, look at all the steps before you start. It's actually, yeah, and yes, that's what you're you going to look before you leave. Precision is really key because if you don't get the intersection exactly, that's perfect, exactly on the points where the arcs cross, your whole, your square will not be precise. Have you done it? Well, I did, but it was too big. I'm not going to be able no, to get it. No, exactly. So do it again, small. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That, I think it's that. And it's going right to the edge on both, uh, and go right. right through the... You need... To, it is such a, a precise thing. From right to the edge of the square with this line. Uh, you do a square, you see, it's a join yeah. these points up here. And okay. you can see you've got these out here, right? And that's, the circles around. Yeah, when you come to here, which is nine, so you go seven, it's eight, nine. Really nine. You suddenly find that the square you drew, which is there, yeah. is, oh, perhaps, no, perhaps they wanted to put these two inside that one. Yeah, I think we've cracked it. There's two squares inside the outer square. To make this with gold in between, we want double lines, yeah. okay? Yeah. And it says somewhere in the notes, it shows you about how you make double lines as a page. See? So what we're going to do is you're going to outline your octagon, the shape of your octagon. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So you want to do it one one side of your pencil line and one the other side of your pencil line. Are you with me? Yeah. So, take the ruler. I'll do the first one for you. So the point th to point. You see that I'm just the other side of that line. And I'm going... Now this is where it's so easy to make a mistake. I'm stopping there. And I'm going there. Yep. And then I turn the board round. And because you haven't got your, oh, I haven't got my line exactly right, I'm going, whoops, from there to there, and from there to there, and then I turn the board round. Do you see? Yeah. yeah. And you're going to end up, and then you're going to do another, a double set of lines inside that, and then you're going to paint gold, paint. <laughs> Don't worry, people. I think that's it. Have you? Oh, you've managed yeah. it. Great. Thanks very much. There's all the different ways they would Sorry. complexify oh, right. the design. Okay. But you're going to just start with a double line. So you're going to quiz your ruler. Look. Double line. And then double line. Turn the void round. Yeah? Okay, thank you. As if you have the lines not there. 
it's going to be easier for you to make a mistake because you can't see the pattern. Has everybody in this room got their image? Right. What are you going to do, man? <laughs> right. Caroline, what are you doing? You're doing a Kalila. Peter's got his and he's drawing it. Okay, Peter's already off with the drawing. Are you going to trace? I'll trace. Tracing paper. Yeah, paper, tracing paper, bigger sheets, help yourself. Tape your image down. Have you taped this down underneath? Yep. In order to do a really good tracing, it is a good idea to tape your tracing paper to the image. I don't think the masking tape will screw things up and I don't even mind if it does. But it is so easy for the tracing paper to slip. And do not press hard because once you've put pigment on the reverse side of your tracing paper, you're going to redraw over the pencil line. So if you do a hard line the first time, you're going to end up with a great big, you know, delicacy delicate, it's firm touch. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Marking tape's great. It does tear, though, paper. What? It's just told me. I just managed to tear my... Sure. Sure. Rub it on. I need to have enough fitting off me. Oh, I see. I'm Take it down with the protein paper. Oh. You turn your drawing side down and you sprinkle a little bit of pigment on and then you simply really rub it in like that. It's just pigment. Okay, and then you put the pigment back and then you get your piece of paper, you wash your hands in between. Okay. Then position this. Right. Wherever you want it. I'll put it in the middle. Or just there. Get your piece of clean scrap paper and then go over the image okay. with your sharp pencil. Make sure it's all taped down so it's not going to move. Um, okay. No, no, just keep it over there. Okay. 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 you really got to be careful. Where's the face? That's the face there. Just be really careful, so... Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So I'll give you the pot. Whose water was this? Mine. Yours. So I should you know, make sure now that your board's clean, that you've got no pigment on your hands. I thought that. And ruin all the hours of work. Test on your paper first. Take down your paper. Which colour do you want? Cream or this? Oh, that's nice. Looks like a pirate instead of a Persian. <laughs> I'm not gonna you can make that shape if you like, but but I mean I really think because you can always add yeah. after. So take that off now and let's ink it. Yeah, and the shading as well. Mm -hmm. You're kind of doing this, you're dabbing at it like that. Don't dab. Do this. Cover. That's not a circle. That's a circle. That's not a circle. You think so? I don't yeah. think so at all. I'm horrified. Well, I've done with the waist. Oh, you can do it. It's a bit cute. Yeah. But a bit like you, know, you have never ever done this before. And you've gone from one day, it's it's not even a day, because <laughs> yeah. we didn't start to quarter to twelve. Well, I think you, you've brilliant. worked out brilliantly how to get to that. So, so, <laughs> so if you can do this much, 
in four hours, imagine if you practiced on a regular basis, mm. what kind of level of skill you could develop. Yeah, well, I one. think you're a genius for teaching us, so thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very much, Jill. Thank you. Very